So, it's been over a month since I, uh, since I last made a paper craft. Yeah, not counting that, that paper U Ukraine flight, though, because, you know, I don't really consider it as a paper craft. You know, it, it was just supposed to be, uh, a national flag made, made out of paper, you know, like the paper flying Ukraine. So, yeah. But the last time I made a, a paper craft was, uh, was February 29th, which was Labor, was, which was Leap Day, and that was the last time I made a paper craft. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'm back to, you know, I'm back to making another paper craft. So, yeah. And, so, with that out of the way, I'm gonna be showing my, my paper traffic light. So, yeah. So, I made this paper traffic light today, and I'll be showing it to you. And it turned out, well, not exactly as good as I hoped it would, but, you know, it didn't turn out exactly bad either. So, yeah. And of course, I, I made this today, because, I don't know, I just wanted to make something out of paper. So, yeah. Here's my custom paper traffic light. And this is the this is the newest addition to the, the paper craft collection. So yeah. Anyways, enough of me rambling. I'm just gonna be showing it to you. So yeah. So basically I just made this thing out of black construction paper. And I used some yellow construction paper, green construction paper, and red construction paper. And I think it turned out pretty good, you know. And of course, I don't know how long this review will be. I mean, I didn't really, I didn't really give it much details. I really only just made uh, a re a rectangle out of black construction paper, and I taped it all together, and I just made the lights. But anyways, I'm gonna review it for real. So yeah, let's just, I'm just gonna show it to you. So first things first, I made the. The black, the, the black rectangle out of black construction paper, and I just taped it all together. Yeah, I started with that first because, you know, I, I thought that seemed more appropriate. So, yeah. Then, of course, once it was all finished, I just, you know, I just, I just did the next thing, which was making the, you know, that, you know, the lights that are on the traffic light. So, of course, I just used, uh, 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 red construction paper for the red stop light, and then yellow construction paper for the yellow caution light, or go slow light, whatever it's called. And then for the go lights, I just use green construction paper, so yeah. And, of course, I cut them into little circles, since, you know, the lights on the, on the traffic lights are shaped like circles. So, yeah. And, of course, I just glued them on. And I think it I think it turned out pretty good. Maybe not exactly as the best that I hoped, but you know. This was the best I could do. So yeah. I also made those little things that are that are on these traffic lights. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're usually on these traffic lights. And I just made them out of black construction paper. And of course I made them in the shape of well, you know, as the front and back of the hollows on my paper tub boots. So yeah. And and I just taped them on. So, and of course I did tape them on as as well as gluing the lights on. So yeah. I also did the same thing for the back as well. So yeah. I also did make those paper lights and those things as well out of construction paper. And I basically just taped them on. Well, I taped those little things on, but I glued the lights on. So, yeah. And of course. And, yeah. Now, I do apologize if it may not look as accurate or as good looking. You know. While I was making this, I actually kind of ran out of tape. Yeah. I ran out of, you know, clear out of th that tape. You know, which is usually what I use for my paper crafts. So yeah, I ran out of that tape when I was making this. 
So I actually had to use duct tape. I actually, I actually had to use um, electrical tape for this thing. So yeah. And yeah, I was fine with using electrical tape because it actually, because since it's blacklight the paper, I think it, I think it worked really well. So yeah. Here's what it looks like from the top and the bottom. So yeah. And, and yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Even if it may not look 100% accurate or really good looking. But it still looks fine. And I did want to make a traffic light after all because, you know, I thought it would be really cool to make one. And I think I did have plans of making one of these. So, yeah. And, you know, traffic lights usually, well, they usually help cars drive safely. So, yeah. Well, what I mean is, the, the red light tells the car to stop. You know, so other cars can pass by. That way, so there isn't a collision, you know. And then once it's all clear, the green light tells them to go. So, yeah. Yeah, that's usually what these traffic lights do. And I'm not sure what the yellow light does, though. I think it's supposed to be like, you know, a caution light or something that tells these cars to go slow. So, yeah. That, that, that's what I believe, anyway. And yeah, I don't know what these are called. They're just they're just on these traffic lights. So yeah. And and yeah, I think they turned out pretty good. And I just tape them on the, and I tape them on the traffic light. And of course, I I used you know electrical tape for the rest of this thing, so it would I could finish it. And I would have waited until I got more tape. But I didn't really feel like waiting, and I just wanted to get this done, so I decided to use electrical tape to finish it, and I think it turned out pretty good, so yeah. And, and while I was making this, there were a bit of gaps in this thing as well, so I did use the electrical tape to, you know, cover up the gaps, because the gaps don't really don't look good in my opinion. And yeah, I think I did cover up all the gaps in this thing. Which looks really good. Yeah, so here it is from the top again. You know, just an average traffic light. So yeah. And I'll just set it right there. And yeah, I, I think that's about it for this review. So yeah. And I don't know if I'll make more traffic lights in the future. I mean, I could if I want to. You know. It would be cool to have like six of these in my papercraft collection, but I don't think I'll ever make more traffic lights because, you know, I think I'm just fine. I think I'm fine just having one traffic light. So yeah, but yeah, I think that's about it for this review. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And yeah. And I'll probably see you guys with some more videos coming soon. So yeah. I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing review in a few days. So yeah. Bye.